Welcome to this new tutorial about the VR um, touchless trigger in which we are going to explain how the package works. So in fact this is a new version of uh, our touchless trigger in which um, we have added different features as you can see. We have um, three different types of trigger, four if you include the magnetic one. So I'm going to explain them uh, one by one. Let's start with the camera trigger and for this I'm going to record from my Android device on my phone what I'm doing. Okay, so you will see at the corner a video of myself moving, okay, in this case my hand. So all of the cubes um, have a call function in which they change the color of the cube if I'm pointing at them or not. Okay, but um, each of them have different uh, functions. So for example, in this case, if I take my hand next to the camera, you can see the actions, okay, that are performing. So this, this is the first one. So uh, I'm, as I said, I'm using my mobile phone to record myself while I'm using the, the webcam of my computer to trigger that, that function, okay? So I'm going to deactivate the video now. And um, if we'll continue with the other um, options or triggers, we have the voice trigger. So you can see whenever I whistle or, or maybe talk really loud, okay, hello, you can see that the, the voice trigger, it's, it's working. But um, if I click the magnetic trigger, as you can hear, nothing is going to occur. So in fact, um, like this, we are able to trigger different functions using uh, different ways of interacting with the headset, okay? So um, the regular one is the magnetic trigger. This is working with my, my trigger at this moment. And the last one is going to be a loading bar. So you can see how the actions are going to be triggered using that uh, rounded loading bar, okay? So this is regarding the objects, okay? And I have also implemented a small modification of the code to make it work with um, with the canvas also. So here we have three um, buttons, okay? And uh, each of them is going to interact with my voice, the, the camera covering or the loading bar. So. Let's start with the voice. You can see how the, the function was triggered, okay, and, and the camera was recentered. Um, about the camera one, I'm going to put my hand on the camera, and you can see how the function is triggered. I'm going to do it again. Okay, you can see. And finally, along the bar, Okay, that's the same thing. So, um, in fact, um, using this package, you will have uh, different ways of adding uh, more functions to, to your game, uh, using your voice, using the camera, using also a loading bar, and you will be able to interact with things without um, having to use all the time the magnetic trigger, okay? And uh, in many um, hair sets, you don't have that magnetic trigger. So you will have to build uh, these options. So let me just say how you can um, uh, edit your, your, your code and make your own actions and perform your own um, objectives in your game. So um, if you go to GVR main, here is, you are going to find the no touch, uh, no touch trigger, which is the script that is going to manage the microphone, the camera, and that loading bar. Okay, so in fact, um, if you want to make a really efficient um, program, you will have to set uh, every single boolean here to to false because it's. This means that you are not going to use them in your code and the micro and the camera is not going to be um, getting information from the hardware and, and using a lot of computational cost. So for example, if you are just going to use your camera input, you click here. If you're just going to use your micro input, you click here. That's the main idea, okay? 
Um, then if you want to change the threshold of the voice of the, of the camera, you have these two parameters here, okay, that you can uh, change. If you put a really um, low threshold for, for the voice, um, the noise of the background is going to um, affect your system. And if you put a really high threshold here, uh, what you're going to have is um, a problem to get to the value. So I have set for you the value of three that is it's um, the best uh, at the moment and same for the threshold of the camera okay so um, just say that um, is voice triggered and is cover cam triggered are going to be set to true whenever uh, the trigger is achieved okay and this is the information we use in the interactable object so if you go to the blocks okay you have the camera trigger the voice trigger etc for those blocks um, cubes and inside of those things you're going to have always an event trigger okay that has to be like this with um, a pointer and term pointed exit which are related to this function here okay as you can see and then inside of those pointer events you go to uh, focus an object and you select the gaze enter or exit in this case okay the same ending as this event trigger okay and finally the uh, the main script that is going to um, set your um, your triggers to voice camera loading or magnetic it's the focus on object and you will have to choose the option you want for for example I'm going to show you how to change the first cube that is this one here that is set to camera to a um, loading bar Okay, I just changed that and you will see how the code it's going to manage that for um, itself and it's going to go uh, to, 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 to that cube and change it for you. Okay, and uh, let's wait for a second and you will see that now the camera is going to become a loading event. Okay, so it's that simple. You're going to be... Um, changing your objects and the triggers of those objects really easily okay and the difference between uh, using an object or using a UI um, object or image or um, whatever in this case a button um, it's that um, in the the unfocused object you have to say is UI button because we're going to perform different actions Okay, but the structure is the same. You're going to find an event trigger in which you are referring to that focus on object script and in which you are selecting in the script the gaze enter or exit sub functions. Okay, so I think it's quite clear. Uh, to finish, I'm going to just add a cube and add a trigger on it so you can see how. Um, the process is obtained okay so I'm going to add a cube and remember that those cubes need um, to have a collider and a rigid body okay for the function we're using so we add a rigid body there to that cube and then what we're going to do is as I told you we're going to add an event um, trigger Inside of that, we create a pointer enter and create a pointer exit, and then we go to the scripts and we add the focus on object script, and then we can say we want a loading bar, and it's not going to be a UI button, so this is going to be set to false, and here and here we have to take the function, we have to say we want from this focus event the on case enter and we want to create the same thing for the um, the pointer exit so in this case will be the focus on object on case exit so if I didn't miss anything by this 30 second process you are going to be able to um, add a loading bar to this object okay and be able to trigger your own function and I'm going to open in a second so you can see where to go in order to create your own things okay so let's uh, wait for it okay you can see 
that this is the new cube and um, as I was saying we have now okay that function established really easily in that cube okay so finally what if you want to add your transition to another scene or um, your own functions or if you want to change the a canvas uh, I don't know to blow up a, an object whatever you want um, that is managed on this focus on objects so if you go and you you open this script um, let's see if I can just open the script here okay it's going to open yeah <clears throat> Okay, you go to, um, I believe it's almost the end of the code, okay, or it's marked. Okay, this is the part where users can write their stuff, okay. So you go here and you can see this is the part where you want to um, edit your own things, okay. Okay, and I think I can show it here better because I can give you the reference of the line okay so it's it's here so notice that um, in this function that is called do these actions okay we have a part that is um, reserved for the UI button actions okay so uh, if you want to for example give a velocity to your rigid body as I have shown it in this example you have this line of code so if you want, for example, to add another thing, for example, say we want to go it uh, to make it go up, but to make it um, go far also, we can set something like this. And um, if it was in the case of the button, you uh, could uh, add uh, a function here in this line here. Okay, so that's that's the that's the part that is reserved for users okay to create their own functions so you go ahead and you just edit that and you add your your own things okay so um to sum up let me say that we are a group of students that we are passionate about vr that we want to share these cool ideas with the world uh, we believe that in this package you have um quite professional tools to um improve your vr applications by um, uh, interacting with your headset without using only the magnetic trigger but using your voice and and the camera of your device and um, as always if you have any question regarding this package please contact us to michael.solaire.b80 um, at gmail.com and we will be glad to um, inform you of how the, pack the package works or even um, discuss future uh, modification of the package with you in case you want to adapt it to your own needs so thanks very much for watching